Ah, uh, hello, my beautiful child. Are they not the sweetest thing? So soft. So fragile. Now, what name did you choose, love? Oh, uh, baby child, uh, darn it. And not Asgore, Asgore. Junior Jumbo Toriel and Asgore and Toriel. Hmm, Asgore and Toriel. Um, Togo, Torkor, uh, Astor, Tor, or, uh, As, Asriel. Hmm, what's this? Hey, Sans, I know you said to stay away from the human. That they're really strong and they just want to kill everybody. And that I shouldn't even think of trying to stop them. But I was thinking, if strength isn't the answer, then maybe kindness is. Maybe they're just confused or scared or need a good friend to show them the way. And you've always said that I'm the greatest friend anyone could ever have. So who could be better at this than me? After all, beating someone super strong by being super nice. Wouldn't that be a truly great puzzle? One that'd really be worthy of the great papyrus. No, 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 no. Uh, huh? Papyrus? Sans, look! I did it! I got them to listen, look! I'm sorry. I fixed it! I'm they don't sorry. want to be bad anymore. They're gonna let me help them. I knew they could be good if they tried. I told you. Boy, that got a little scary there. But see, everything turned out fine. I... Sans, it's okay. I fixed it. It's okay. Papyrus, you have no idea how worried I was. I'm... I'm glad you're okay. So, I just met Muffet, and she got me into... a sticky situation. <sighs> I think I'm in for a bad time. Wow, kiddo. I see. You'd rather leave a pal in a bind. It's fine. I'm too wrapped up in this predicament anyway. <laughs> Jeez, kid. Why'd you have to leave me hanging? Oh? <laughs> nice. Sans? So Sans, stop slacking off. Don't be such a stick in the mud. That's not even a skeleton pun! Well, I guess my joke bank has gone bone dry. <sighs> it's so empty now. I miss them. I miss my brother. This is what happens when guys like me take breaks. Go to hell. You- Sans! Why is your sock still not put away? Oh, I mean, surprise! I am alive. Everyone is. It was all a complex, cruel prank. So you learned to be responsible? So now, can you put your sock away? What? Sans, why? Mother, you're supposed to be working. When are you going to stop slacking off? Uh, come on. At least order something before we go back out, huh? Well, fine. But I only want a glass of milk. It's the only thing in here with no grease in it. Don't worry, I got it. Grilby, to look shake, please. Sans, I said I just wanted some milk. It is milk, mostly. Look, trust me, bro, just try it. <laughs> <laughs> huh, did you really think you'd be able to... So, I guess that's it, huh? Just don't say I didn't warn you. Well, I'm going to Grillby's. Papyrus, do you want anything? <laughs> no. Sans! Oh, 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 hey, warm, bro. It's night, and maybe hard to tell time here. Sans, did you have a nightmare? I guess I did. It's pretty real. 
Sans, do you need to talk? What was it about? Yeah, you didn't. Papyrus. Papyrus, no, Papyrus. Papyrus, you can't be dead. Huh. Nah, it wasn't that bad. Hmm. Well, since you don't feel like telling me, I know what will cheer you up. Once we get you some proper rest, then we can finally go recalibrate your puzzles! Whoa. Until then, I, the Great Papyrus, will allow you to sleep in my bed for a night of sleep in peace. Nah, I'm good here. I think I'll stay. W why I think something is wrong with the stairs. What? Well, what's wrong with the stairs? They're fine. I don't know, I just don't trust them because they're always up to something. Bed. Now. Okay. Okay, Sans. Today is the day. <laughs> I can feel it, Sans. I can feel it. In my bones. That was good. I know. But today is the day. A human will arrive. And we must be ready. Sans, go on ahead to your post. I will stay at mine. Okay, Pabs. Oh, and no slacking off. I'll know if you do. Got it. Is that what I think it is? Is it? It is. A human. Man, Pabs is so smart. <laughs> Seems like I have no choice. Besides, this will make Bros so happy. Human. <laughs> Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around, shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyway, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, uh, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go on through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. <laughs> yeah, my bro made this bar way too wide to stop anyone. What? What's going on? <laughs> oh my god, is that a human? Phew, what a busy day capturing the human. Oh, Sans, this is perfect. Stay here and stall the human, will you? I must prepare my ultimate puzzle. Okay, have fun. <laughs> hey there, kid. Oh, you having fun with Papyrus' puzzles? Yeah, you look pretty chilled to the bone. <laughs> you're right, that is not funny. Especially when you're cold. You know, you make Papyrus really happy today. So, you'll have to give it back later. But for now, consider it a thank you gift. There. That'll keep you warm. No worries about it. Just being on, you know? Just don't go back and jack it. <laughs> huh? Let me carry you? Hmm. <laughs> well, okay. But I don't do this for just anyone. Okay, let's see what Pap is planning. Human! Welcome to the, uh... Sans, what are you doing? Sorry, bro. I was overpowered by them. Overpowered? You're supposed to stall them, not carry them. I'll never be in the world god under these conditions. Huh. <laughs> I guess a human just found a way. Under my skin. Sans, no! Sans, yes. Besides, I'm just freezing cold. Oh no, are they alright? Yeah, just figured you don't... <laughs> deliver a human popsicle to Undyne. Hmm. I guess all this is for drastic measures. <laughs> Comfortable human. <laughs> well, you should be. I've procured only the warmest of blankets, and also have you the finest cup of cocoa. You also have the most formidable, so I, the Great Papyrus, would like to learn your name. I don't think they speak, Babs. Oh no, this is the worst possible thing. I think human has a better ring to it. So human, you are my prisoner. It has been very fun finding another puzzle lover like myself. However, 
You must stay here to stay safe. You must not let yourself freeze out there. Thank goodness the great Papyrus was here to save you. Okay, human. I'm staying in the shed. <laughs> Good job, bro. Now you can do it. Yeah. Uh-oh. I didn't know that face. What's wrong? <sighs> oh, come on, Peps. You can tell me anything. Sans. I really want to be in the Royal Guard, but this human... If I bring them to Undyne, Undyne will bring them to Asgore. I did not expect to like a human so much. What should I do? Bro, you're the coolest, smartest set of bones I know. Whatever decision you make will be the right one. And whichever it is, I will support it. Ah, uh, thank you, Sans. Heh, <laughs> don't look now, the human is out. <laughs> I told you we need to fix that lock. What? No! Stop, human! <laughs> you don't want to catch a cold! <laughs> <sighs> Man, I am bone tired. <laughs> Pups, you can handle this now. Uh, time for my mid morning nap. Huh? Uh. Hmm? Uh. Uh. Huh? Hey, hey, wait! No! Undyne, you can't! That human! No, that thing! It can't be stopped! You saw what it did to pu I mean, what it's been doing to everyone! We need to escape! We have to evacuate! No, I can't, Alphys. But you? You have to prepare. Prepare for the evacuation. But you know I have to fight. Undyne, did you come here because- because I think I'm gonna die? Ha! <laughs> Never! I'll kill it! Just prepare for the worst and hope for the best. I can feel the whole world chanting for me. I can't lose! So don't cry, Alphys. Huh? <sighs> Sans, I... <sighs> oh, hey, Undyne. Sorry about that. You scared the carp out of me. Right. That's just how you are. I have to go. I can't waste any more time. I I'm dying. Don't worry, Alfie. I'm going to fix everything. Just believe in me, okay? Okay. And, uh, Sans? I... I loved him, too. <laughs> Sans. Sans, wait. You don't want to watch this. The cameras focus all on the human. Elfie, does this machine keep records of its videos? Yes, and why? You also have cameras around Snowden? No! Don't make me. Don't make me say it again. No, 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 no. Papyrus. Papyrus, no, not again. Papyrus. 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 My brother, how do you call me? Papyrus. Sans! Human, stay there. Shut the door. Sans! Sans! Sans, calm down! Sans, I'm here! Papyrus is here! I'm here! Sans! I'm here! I I'm here! Sans, whatever you saw about me, it's not real. I'm safe. Right here with you. Uh, perhaps... <sighs> Bro, I... No, Sans. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want. Thank you. Sans, uh, maybe until these nightmares blow over, you can stay in my room with me. You did really well last night. <laughs> nah, I like the couch. And, uh, I'm... I'm gonna head to Grilby's. Sans, please don't run away. You don't have to talk about it, but don't run, please. You can join me in the human sleepover. Maybe it will help. Papyrus, the kiddo. Sleeping in your room tonight? Yeah, remember I chased after the human I had to fight them? Well, during the fight, they started flirting with me. So I dropped the whole thing and went on a date, and I realized during the date I simply did not have such feelings for the human. And then I was getting kind of late, and the human tried to stay at the inn, but apparently it was too noisy. So they came back, and you read us part of my favorite bedtime story. 
Huh, that's right, Peps. Uh, you know, maybe instead of Grillbees, we could finish off that story together. Sans, I would love that. But you don't have to. Really, not after what you went through. No, I, I think this will help me feel better. I- uh, oh, Damon! I told you to stay upstairs! Uh, huh, hi, kid. Oh no, D did I scare you? I'm s <laughs> Kid, I'm okay. You don't need to cry. Everything is alright. <laughs> it's alright, kid. Let's go back to bed. Then Fluffy Bunny said... <clears throat> and then Fluffy Bunny was no longer sad. The end. Oh, that ending always gets me. Thank you, brother. Yep. Hey, if you want, we can try to make a spot for you on the bed. Nah, you know I can sleep anywhere. Here's fine. You just get a good rest, bro. Oh, alright. If you're sure. Have a good sleep, brother. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Sans, you're, you're awake before me? <laughs> Wait, Sans, you didn't sleep at all! Sans? Looks almost like you're staying up on purpose. Protect me from some unseen, possibly imaginary threat. Uh... But that's silly. We both know I'm the stronger brother. I protect you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoopie cushions in your coat! I can't believe you start this early! I don't know. <laughs> Are those a breath of fresh air? No! Come on, Peps. I think you need to take all that pent-up rage and just release it. You are literally the worst ever! <laughs> Move on ahead, kid. I already gotta change my jacket. See you after breakfast. Be right down. <laughs> Honestly, Sans. Either way, the human told me something. After breakfast, they're going to leave. They're very determined to get home, apparently. It makes me feel very conflicted. Human, I think I would miss having you around. Ugh. Hmm, human, what are- <gasps> You spit out my delicious spaghetti so you could give me a wonderful message? Oh, I'll be looking forward to each and every visit! <sighs> Waterfall is much warmer than here, so your outfit should be fine. Oh, and I hope you come back often. You've become such a good friend. Hey, kiddo. After my nap, I'll come find you. You can grab Krillies, okay? <laughs> Maybe Undyne will go easy on him. Fear not. I will simply tell Undyne the human is wearing an old tutu. The human would never be caught dead in such a thing. Huh. <laughs> You're the smartest Skelly ever. Um, so, Sans. Now that we're alone, I wanted to say something. Hmm. Bro? Okay. It has to do with all your recent nightmares. Uh. Bro, you told me you didn't have to talk about it. Oh, and you still don't. If you don't want. I just... Sans, I know you're better than anyone. And I also know that you tend to... Well, you don't tell me much, Sans. I can tell you hide a lot from me. A lot about you. And I also know that... You probably believe you're protecting me by pushing away. <sighs> but Sans, I'm an adult. And I am a most dedicated brother and friend. And I can handle it. No, I want to handle it. Side by side with you. Burden's just way less that way for both of us, I think. And maybe you'd feel just a little bit better. <sighs> Peps. Yes, brother? I saw... No. I felt myself die. I felt myself turn to dust. Wait, you... What? Yeah, it was real. Very, very real. It was like another lifetime. I wasn't the only one who died. I only saw bits and pieces. 
but I felt the rest. In my dream, I watched Undyne leave to fight, but I knew. No, we both knew she was walking to her death. And I know monsters were dying, everyone was dying. And Papyrus? Papyrus. No. Never, I won't let myself see it happen. I can't, I couldn't handle it. How can I handle it then? Why did I make myself watch the recordings of Snowden? Okay. Okay, Sans, okay. You don't have to keep going, you're okay. Everyone is okay. Everyone is okay. <laughs> you're right, I feel much better. You're the coolest. Well, brother, under normal circumstances, I would agree. Right now, however... <gasps> I am in the presence of the true coolest brother in the world. Bro, what? That's right. I don't care who knows. Like you. <laughs> Looking for an awesome new brother? Well, too bad. Sans here is already taken. <laughs> Perhaps no. You two! My brother is all mine. Oh, you doing the thing. Hey, yo! Bro, oh, I swear. I don't know if I love you or hate you right now. That's a silly thing to say, Sans. You couldn't ever hate me. Sans. Right, you pretty much had zero hours of sleep. <sighs> okay, okay. Let's get you home, sleepy bones. <laughs> Is that perhaps? Sans, you're awake. No nightmares. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, the TV. Uh, sorry, bro. I didn't mean to. What? Don't be ridiculous, Sans. Besides, the sound still works, so I get to hear my sexy rectangle at least. S sexy rectangle? Uh, where exactly did you hear that word? Oh, remember we we're talking about that box of pasta? No, not rectangle. The word sexy. Oh, Alfie's told me that one. She calls Undyne and Meditan that all the time. She told me it's like a really nice compliment. She did now, huh? Yep. So I've been using it for everyone I care about. Undyne, Alpha, Sans, even- Stop, this is making me uncomfortable. Uh, I, I mean, Papyrus. I'm sure she didn't know any better, but I have to tell you. Might be different in Hotland, but around Snowden, it's a very bad word. Huh? Yeah. Oh no, I had no idea I've been calling you such bad things. Why would she do this? It's okay, bro. It was probably just an accident. I will talk to her, okay? Just wait. Oh, this is the best part. Cool. Hey, Alfie. Heard you've been teaching my bro swears. S Sans? What are you doing? Uh, you know, I thought you gills would like a friendly visit. Don't be so coy. Sans, stop. Anyway, Alphys, I got a bone to pick with you. Uh, my brother was saying the word sexy earlier. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know why, would you? <laughs> Sans, I'm so sorry! I didn't know he was in the room! Alphys. Okay, but what the hell? Also, sexy is not a curse word, Sans. It is when I hear Pap saying it. Like I said, I'm so sorry. I saw a hot pick of my favorite character and it, j it just came out. Okay, okay, Alphys. You're forgiven. Just be careful. Thank you. So, she's not allowed to say the word sexy in front of Papyrus. That and all the other words on her list. List? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> uh, yeah, I have the swear list right here. See? Oh, hey, look at my wrist. It's time for my mid-morning breakfast with the human. You girls have fun. Not a single word on this list is an actual swear word. What the? Crunk? Frumpus? Flumpin? What? Wait, what the hell is- Is that papyrus with pineapple for a head? Why is- is that a pun? What the hell? What did that damn skeleton just say? Human? I don't die, no. Ah! Sans, you're back. What happened? She said she's sorry. It was a miscommunication. 
She promised to never upset you, Paps. Anyway, I think I'm gonna head over and grab the kid to get some breakfast. Sounds good, brother. Speaking of the human, Sans, have you considered... well... Have you considered telling the human about those bad dreams? Yeah, a little bit. Why? Well, the nightmare started right before they appeared. I thought somehow they might have something to do with it. Yeah, thanks, bro. No prob. Have a good breakfast, brother. Thanks. See you later. <laughs> Bye! Hey, kiddo. Huh? Something the matter? You look distracted. Mm -mm. Yeah, alright then. Uh, sorry I'm a little late. So, what do you say we head to Girlby's? I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hey, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans, you're late today. Usually, this is your second breakfast. Sorry, buddy. I don't know what happened. I couldn't get out of bed if I fried this morning. Here, get comfy. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. <laughs> Anyways, let's order. What do you want? Hmm. Hey, it sounds pretty good. Girlie, we'll have a double order, Burke. I've said something like this before, but having you around has made my brother very happy. I know eventually you'll have to be captured and brought to Asgore, but I don't know. Because I kind of wish it didn't have to happen. <laughs> There's been something odd. Something I've been trying to figure out. Well, maybe not figure out. And maybe more accept what I already know. <sighs> Be honest with me, kid. I won't judge. Have we met before? If that's the case, did you hurt them? My friends? My family? Me? Did you kill us all first? Thanks, Ruby. Looks great. Uh, you could have mine, kiddo. These things just go right through me. <laughs> huh? Uh, what was that? You can talk? Kid? I said, you remember when I killed everyone, Sans? That look on your face. That's the look of someone who's very, very mad. So, how did you do it? After all, up until now, all you did was mumble about reports and time anomalies. But it was pretty obvious you never experienced an anomaly personally. Wait, that's what your nightmares have been about, isn't it? <laughs> so you only remember bits and pieces. So, whatever you tried in the last timeline, it obviously didn't work, right? <laughs> Though it obviously made you suffer. Never seen you cry before, Sans. <laughs> yeah. Looks like you got me, kid. Glad I brought you out today. I learned a lot. Uh... I got a lot of questions answered. So thanks, kiddo. Here's a little treat for you. You know, because you deserve it. Sans, come on. I think it's pretty clear. I can reset anything you do. So what? Get dunked on, you gross piece of garbage. Oh, girly. Uh, sorry about the counter. I was really mad. Yeah, I got enough to pay for repairs. You know, if the world doesn't reset, and if it does, see you on the other side, buddy. I know it doesn't make sense. I know. Hey, what do you know? Look at that, kid. Feels like I'm looking straight into a mirror. <laughs> um. Something the matter.
mad about it? You looking pretty chilled to the bone. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I just have a skeleton of things on my mind. Oh no, what a predicament. I know. I went to the doctor, but he wasn't very humorous. Oh, and why is that? Well, I told him all about my problems. So he saw right through you? Yeah, but he wasn't very sympathetic. Why, did he call you a bonehead? <laughs> wait, wait, I got one. Did you hear about the guy who invented the knock-knock jokes? Let me guess. He, he won, won the, the Nobel, Nobel Prize. Prize. <laughs> it's almost like... I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> oh, sorry, kid. <sighs> so, uh, that kid and uh, all this... Oh, yeah. You're probably pretty confused. Hey, kid. Go play somewhere. Me and other sands gotta talk. Mm -mm. Nope. A temper tantrum's not gonna change my mind. Mm -mm. <sighs> okay, okay. But only because I love you, Frisk. <laughs> there. Now go play, kiddo. <gasps> yes! The human plays with the gaster blasters? <laughs> yeah. I pulled him out to try and kill the kid, but instead the, ki the kiddo befriended them. Huh. The kid I know isn't that nice. Yeah, you've been dealing with Kara. The real Frisk is this one. They've been trapped in here longer than me. Hmm. And the elephant in the room, how are you not dead? Huh? Who said I was alive? Calm down. <laughs> I'm not dead. Part alive, maybe? Somewhere between the two. We're starting at the wrong part anyway. First, I want to apologize for the nightmares. That wasn't intentional. But neither was this. Or us. We were not supposed to exist like this. It really started when I watched the videos of Snowden. I wanted to make sure. Maybe the kid didn't mean to kill Paps. I mean, Paps wouldn't hurt a fly. But nope. Papyrus spared the child, and without a second thought, Papyrus was murdered. Undyne had died. Alpheus begged me to evacuate. I think maybe she knew what I was planning to do. I went down into the true lab. Even with Papyrus' death, I might have just let it all continue. I knew avenging him was pointless. I knew saving everyone was pointless. The reports taught me well. No matter what I did here, time would reset. We would all forget the details, and the anomaly would continue to play with our lives, like we were a bunch of toys in a toy box. <laughs> you know how we are. Normally we'd go to sleep, pretend it's a bad dream. But as my timeline progressed, the reports coming in got worse and worse. If I let this continue, the world would reset, as it always does. And in the next timeline, yours actually. A week into that timeline, all timelines would end forever. All timelines would end... forever. Yep, and that kid had to be the cause of it. By the time you started receiving the information, you were too busy protecting Papyrus. Hmm. You were watching? Yeah. I can witness the world not so much interact. Either way, I might have been able to beat the kid on my own, but this was too important. I had nothing else to lose. So if it didn't work, oh well. No skin off my bones. <laughs> Honestly, I thought I was just going to melt. And I did. Almost. But I wouldn't let myself. Either way, determination is one hell of a drug. I already had determination from when, well, you know. But I was hoping maybe more would give me what I needed. In desperation, I hoped once I killed the kid that I might have enough determination to surpass theirs. Enough to gain control of the timelines and the power to stop resets forever. The kid died, and somehow I found myself here. Determination allowed me to find this pocket in space-time. This was it. I finally had answers. This was how the human was manipulating time. 
But now, I could do it too. I could stop everything from ending. I could really save everyone. Guess it doesn't always work out the way as you planned it. Uh oh. Sorry, Sans. Looks like the world's finally reset. Time for you to go. Wait, but there's a lot I still don't understand. I know. I'll try to see if we can speak again directly in your dreams. I still don't know the limits of what I can do now. But there is this one big thing you have to remember. Kara is in possession of Frisk's body. And you altered the timeline by killing Kara. That means Kara is going to hone in on you. The playing field has changed. Kara is interested in the world again. We have to keep Kara interested, Sans. If Kara gets bored, all existence will cease to be. You have to keep Kara amused until we figure out how to stop them from ending everything. And no matter what Kara does, you have to endure for the sake of everyone. <laughs> I can do that. After all, nothing gets under my skin. We always were a fun bag of bones. <laughs> Alright, I'll send you back into the timeline. But just one final thing, okay? Please? Well, it's about... <laughs> I mean, Papyrus. He looked so happy, I just... Thank you. Thank you for being good to him. Of course. Alright. Well, see you on the other side, buddy. <laughs> Ow. Okay, that, that one took a lot out of me. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you, kiddo. Oh. Sorry. There, you don't have to see it. I'm okay now. See? No problems. It's okay. We'll get through this, kid. I'm not going anywhere. Okay? I'm not going anywhere. Sans! Huh? Oh, um, hey, morning, bro. It's night. Or maybe. Hard to tell time here. Sans, did you have a nightmare? I. whoa, uh. Nah, I just fell off the couch. Sans, are you being entirely honest with me? Do you need to talk? Yeah, I'm good. You know what, Paps? I'm just excited because I think tomorrow is a big day. Huh? You have that feeling too? That is a great sign! Now I know a human will most certainly come tomorrow. Whoa! If that's the case, we both need rest. Let's head off to bed. <laughs> okay. Huh. Okay, Sans. Today is the day. <laughs> I can feel it, Sans. I can feel it in my bones. That was good. I know. Go to your post. Oh, and no slacking off. Got it. Gee, Sans, you sure are an idiot. Huh. Well, look at that. Please, Sans, don't act like you haven't seen me. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. And you made a very stupid mistake. A stupid mistake? Well, do you mind Chloro filling me in? Um... You aren't seriously doing this now, are you? What? Is there some sort of stigma around me knowing? Stop. What, am I making you pun comfortable? Stop, 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 stop! If you don't stop, then I'm leaving and not coming back. <laughs> okay. So, what's up, little guy? Looks like you got some advice. <laughs> advice? Too late for that, you bonehead. Aw, oh, thanks, you old charmer. 
That wasn't a compliment. I am talking about Kara. You're stupid because you approached Kara about the resets. Do you have any idea the hell they're going to put you through? <laughs> I have some guesses. But I don't really think you came here just to mock me. You came to tell me you know about the resets, and you came to tell me you remember them. Right? You're so smug. <laughs> I thought I was a skeleton. Fine, that was part of it. The other part, obviously, is that now you're finally useful. We have that other Sans perpetually dying in the save screen, who will just turn to dust if he leaves. Then we got Frisk, who doesn't even have a body. They're useless too. But you, even if it's with the other Sans to help, you came back here with memories. Hmm. Sounds like you want to save the universe. I want to save myself. So here's the deal. We need to get you off having to rely on the other Sans' determination. He's crazy and you have to go to the lab and... Nope. Nuh-uh. Huh? I've seen the result of all that extra determination. So yep, no thanks. You wouldn't use the whole vial. Sorry, bud. If I trust myself a bit more than I trust you. I don't care if you trust me. Just listen. He existed in an entirely different reality. He's not you. Not really. For example, he talks to himself as if someone else is there. The guy's been through hell. I have no place to judge. Ah, aren't you smart or something? Kara, before I go, one final thing. You constantly hide things from everyone. Your brother, your friends, everyone. Don't lie. I've seen you in many timelines. Who's to say he won't leave things out or tell lies to his convenience? Think about it. See you later, Sans. <laughs> I'm still not sure about this child. I... I shouldn't. <gasps> oh. Skeleton, I have no quarrel with you, but understand. Let me and the human pass peacefully, or you will regret it. Uh... Hey, don't mind me. I'm not the fighting type. You'd probably kill me right away, so, nah. Go on ahead. Wait, just a moment. Your voice. Where? Wait a minute. I know you. We always talked through the door. Huh? Whoa, hey. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans, and, uh, same. I'm surprised you didn't seem interested in coming out of the ruins. Well, I really wasn't. But this child. We had a long talk last night, and I realized letting humans leave to face Asgore alone well, it made me no better than Asgore. So, I felt I should protect them personally. Heh, <laughs> whatever floats your goat. <laughs> oh, Sans. Okay, okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Etch. Etch who? Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't stand a chance next to such a pro. I'm glad of all the monsters to meet first. I'm glad it was the one who promised to never harm a human. Yeah, I'd never hurt an innocent. Haha, <laughs> I absolutely agree. Brother, I forgot to mention- P Paps, uh, maybe you should go back to your post? Wait, Paps as in Papyrus? Is this your brother? Huh? Your Majesty? Did you cut off your beard? <laughs> oh, you mean Asgore? No, I'm Toriel. Hey, Papyrus, what does the skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. Sans, who is this lady and why does she talk like you? Uh... Oh, thank you. Wowie, you are very good at puzzles. <laughs> thank you very much. The ruins have many of them. It's odd. You like puzzles and puns. Honestly, Sans, you should have told me about this lovely goat clone. She likes puzzles, and she's least half cool. Nah, how else could I keep up? My mysterious loner thing. 
Seems, seems to me someone's gotta find your skeleton key, Mr. Loner. Haha, <laughs> you go to be kidding me. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. Stop! You know what? We should celebrate. Grillbees, my treat. Grillbees? Yeah, we passed on it on the way. It's be good. Ah, Grillbees. Normally I'd say no, but with such good guests, a good host I will be. Yes it is! I, the Great Papyrus, ready to order. Sup, B. Well, this is it. I know you don't like it here, so thank you. Oh, no problem! And you too, Sans. Treating us like this is so thoughtful. Yeah, no problem. I wasn't sure if leaving the ruins was right, but... All of you. Well, I guess I just haven't been this happy in a while. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very much. No probs. That's right! I forgot! I need to use the bathroom! Sans does too! Uh, no time to be shy, brother! Let's go! Uh... Oh -ho. <laughs> I see what's going on here. You can't pull wool over the eye sockets of the great papyrus. This new goat clone. You want to pull her into the friend zone, huh? Ah, don't worry, Sans. I have great books on friendship that can... Papyrus, wait. Hmm. That's real nice, Babs. I'm sure it'll help me be friends with Tori. So, listen. You trust me. No matter what, right? Huh? Of course. So, even if you don't understand why, when I ask you... No, beg you. When I beg you to never allow yourself to be alone with the human, you'll listen, right? Uh, oh, uh, of course, brother. But what's wrong with them? It's better if you don't know. I see. Sans, may I say something? Huh? Uh, sure. I've been thinking this for a while, so here goes. Sans, you're my brother. I know you better than anyone. And I also know you tend to... Well, you don't tell me much, Sans. I can tell you hide a lot from me. A lot about you. And the, I also know that you probably believe you're protecting me by pushing away. But, Sans, I... Are, are you okay? Yeah, fine, bro. Oh shit, did I kill anyone? Hey, what is- I said shed! And I said shed. Shed. <laughs> you know how waterful accents are. We always make words sound so wacky. <laughs> how right you are, Undyne. Oh, shed. Okay, that makes more sense. Though you certainly can't see our shed from here. <laughs> Child, get away from her. Golly, what happened since we left? It's been like two seconds. <laughs> Who knows? I'll go see what's happening. Be careful, bro. So freaking sorry for the curse and the, uh, the spear. Strike one. Coming, pups. I got to find myself less creepy friends. Now listen carefully, warrior. I don't want to harm anyone. I really don't. I only want to navigate this youth safely through the underground. But I cannot allow someone so blatantly flipping spears around to threaten children. That one was an accident. I was trying to look threatening. But it really is you, isn't it? Queen Toriel. Everyone believe you're dead by now. Ex-Queen. I gave that up a long time ago. I mean it. Don't make me hurt you. <sighs> How could you protect them? They're the final soul we need. They're the seventh human to fall. No, they're not. They are the eighth human child to fall. You will not pretend Kara never existed. If you had to try to look threatening, then that means you either won't fight, or you know you'd lose. If Asgore wants this child warrior, then let that whelp come face me himself. <sighs> I can't possibly attack the queen. 
When the intel came in, the Queen was escorting the human. I couldn't believe it. Just... Queen Toriel. How could you defend a human above your own? This is absolute betrayal. I am not defending humans above monsters. I am simply saving one more human child from a senseless murder. Senseless? I... <sighs> no point. You want Asgore? I'll bring him. Forget it. I'm done here. No! Undyne, this can't be! Lynn, this is no way to start a friendship! That's it. The Great Papyrus won't allow this. There's only one way to become best friends. And that is through friendly competition. Uh, I really thought it was going to be cooking. It was going to be, but Girl B kicked us out. Undyne really doesn't like Hotland, so Metaton's kitchen is out. And our kitchen is unusable. So, we have this. Papyrus, this is very lovely, but... I'm just not sure. Aw, oh, come on, it'll be fun. I should really get to Asgore. Okay, first up, Sans, pick up that boulder. Oh, uh, wait, me? Of course! You must become better friends, and this is how! Oh, uh, what about you? Silly. I already am the perfect friend. Okay, you can do it! I forfeit. Thank you for trying very hard for friendship, Sans. What can I say? I just don't have the muscles for it. Your turn, Undyne. And also, because I lose to no one! Bwah! <laughs> Check it! <sighs> Can't beat that, can you? What? Wowza! The power of friendship is so strong, it gave you the strength to lift boulders with one hand! Ugh. Hey, Undyne. What? Oh, Sans. Coming to threaten me again? What? Nah, just came to ask a favor. Hmm, a favor, huh? Yeah. It's pretty important. I have to go talk to someone. Undyne, while I'm gone, promise me. Promise you'll never, never take your eyes off human. This is serious, isn't it? Heh. <laughs> More serious than you could imagine. That's why I need you to do this, okay? Huh. <laughs> okay. I'll keep everyone safe. The kid won't leave my sight. But Sans, remember whatever is going on. I'm your friend. You can tell me. Okay. Thanks, Undyne. But I really have to go. Alright. Hmm. Sans? Maybe he didn't get it to work? Huh? Hey there. Back to the suit? Yup. Looks like you figured out how to talk in my dreams. Yep. It wasn't too hard. And we still have Frisk with us. So what's up? Got any questions? Yeah, of course. I came back because, this time, there's no time limit. The more I understand, the more I can help. So, last we spoke, you said you can manipulate time now, too. Right? I did say that, yeah. Though, I'm a bit of a dramatic storyteller. <laughs> Go play again. Okay, Frisk? Mm. Frisk, no. This is private. Mm. Frisk. Okay, okay. The worst part of the story is over. Well, sort of. If you want, you can stay. Hmm. <laughs> what can I say? I can't say no to you. Let's see. Oh, right. I was in the save screen. I thought I now had the power to manipulate time. But the reset option wouldn't work when I attempted it. Then, without warning, the world reset from the last save point. And me, I was back in the Judgment Hall, about to do the same battle over and over and over again. Kinda figured Frisk would leave at this part. My newfound determination allowed me to remember every single reset, but it wasn't enough to surpass the humans. So from then on, Again and again I fought. As time kept resetting, I started noticing something horrifying. After a while, I was predictable. Everything I did became predictable. And with each and every reset, the kid lasted longer. And with each and every reset, I grew more and more tired. The kid wasn't giving up. I know they weren't going to. 
I was never going to see my loved ones again. And after 536 tries, the human succeeded. I was actually kind of relieved. So I left the judgment hall. And as soon as I was out of sight, I let myself collapse. <laughs> Hi, Paps. Sorry I tried to so hard at the end. But I guess it just wasn't enough. I guess I just couldn't save anyone. Wait, the same screen. Would it work? I'm half turned to dust, but maybe I can still save them. And with a snap of my fingers, I left time completely and never returned. But how is that possible? You were turning to dust. Ah, uh, that. Well, when I showed up here, I was re- This left with some undesirable results. I didn't have much matter left, so to recreate my body it left some holes. Well, not just holes in the body. Since I've been here, I've only had about a ninth of a soul as well. And you want to know where the rest of the soul went? It went on to recreate the next sands. Well, wait, so I only have... I don't have a full soul? To be absolutely technical, yeah. You probably noticed something odd, but couldn't place it, right? Maybe something missing? Or odd behaviors, things you don't normally do? Maybe issues with memory? At least these are the things I noticed. Then again, maybe it's so bad with me because my soul is so small. Sans? Ah, actually, I prefer Geno Sans. Geno Sans? Why? Well, I don't feel like I deserve to be called Sans anymore. Not to mention, it's the name I deserve after I let everyone die. So, did I answer all your questions? I have plenty, but uh, only one more that matters. Are you. are you doing alright? Huh. I mean, the wound, your eye glitch looks like it's worse. The scarf? Doesn't it hurt? I mean, do you need someone to talk to? Stop. I I've accepted it. We both know it. I'm not going to live at the end. Forgive me. Before I die, I just have to be certain. Papyrus will never suffer again. Now, this is the last. We'll talk about it, okay? Okay. Hey, Gino, mind if I talk with the kiddo? Huh. Well, sure. Go ahead. Hey, Frisk. Right? Uh, good to meet the real one. Mm hmm. So, Kara can talk. Can you? You tell Sans that yes, you can speak. Ah, so then you're just the quiet type. You tell Sans that you guess you are. You already seem like a good kid, Frisk. You don't deserve to be stuck here. You tell Sans. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Hmm? Well? Well, how about this? We'll do a guessing game. And if I'm right, you nod. And if I'm wrong, don't do anything. How does that sound, kiddo? Mm-hmm. So, that kid Kara, they're possessing your body. Mm-hmm. And they've been in your body only for a short while. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, did they possess you in the previous timeline? Mm-hmm. So, the first timeline I remember. You never had control. Only Kara did? Mm-hmm. And before that, in the timeline where everyone was murdered, did Kara alone kill everyone? No response. I think I get it now. So, Frisk. You tell Sans to wait. You say if he's going to guess your life story anyway, you might as well tell it yourself. Many lifetimes ago, I came to the underground, and the very first person I talked to went by the name Kara. 
Karp told me that they died there in the underground. Kara promised to help me out of the underground. And they did. And when we finally got above ground again, all of our new friends came with us. While in the underground, I discovered a secret power inside of myself. Determination. My determination was so strong, I could go back in time whenever I pleased. And I loved meeting everyone so much. I loved having family and befriending each and every monster so much that I used this power, this determination, to do it all over again. For a while, it was fun. Sometimes they remembered me, if only for a little bit. But befriending them over and over again eventually got boring too. Even Kara was getting tired. And that's when Kara first suggested, Hey Frisk, you know? It's not like we can't just reset the damage we do later. Why don't we try something new? Why don't we see what happens? Why don't we try killing them? To blame Kara would be a lie. Kara was right. I could just fix it later, you know? I expected that response. At first, I killed a couple monsters. And I reset from the guilt. But then I did it again. I experienced every ending, I took every path, I found every secret. In Sans, you, you, the first time of many I fought you, took 536 tries to kill you, but I still succeeded. Wait, 536 tries? And your first time of many? You mean, you killed me many times after that? Yeah. The first time took the longest too, and through every reset, Kara got darker, more disturbed, and the influence they had on me got stronger. I had never seen this side of my friend. Kara wanted everyone to hurt. Kara, deep down, wanted to make everyone suffer. After I killed you the first time, I realized Kara was going to do something bad. So, before I reached Asgore, I reset. I relived and reset the world over and over again. A hundred lifetimes? A thousand? I don't know. Eventually, Kara got their way. I killed Asgore. And Kara? Kara took my body as their own. And when that happened, I was ejected from my body. And ended up in the save screen. A soul with no body and an old friend waiting for me. Of course, I'm referring specifically to you. I knew immediately it was the first Sans I had killed. I would never seen you so mad before. I ran, begged, pleaded. I told him it wasn't me, it was Kara, but he knew I was a liar. I ended up pinned. I begged him not to destroy my soul. I knew he wouldn't listen. But for some reason, like he had an idea? He stopped. He knelt down, and he said to me, Hey kiddo, why don't we just forget all this, okay? Come here, pal. I'm tired of all this fighting, aren't you? <laughs> you tell Sans. Since you took his hand, he's been nothing but kind. He lets you play with the gassers. He makes sure you're never lonely. It's... You tell Sans it's almost too much kindness to bear. Hmm. Because you don't deserve it, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. You know, I noticed that while you told the story, your glitch disappeared, or whatever that was. Why is that? You tell him. Because I'm tired of hiding behind my guilt, I want to right what I wronged. I want my body and my determination back. Heh, <laughs> well, that settles it. We know how to fix the whole thing. We need- we have to trick Kara into entering the safe screen. With you, me, and Geo Sans, kids shouldn't stand a chance then. We get your body back. You tell Sans. That would be nice. However, it would never work because you would be playing right into Geno Sans' hands. 
And you really don't want to do that. Kid, what? Sans! No, 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 no! How could I screw up this badly again? Papyrus, God, I'm so sorry. Papyrus, I'm so, so sorry. Whoa, whoa. Gino, what's going on? Sans, you have to go back now. I messed up. I should have... I wasn't watching. I should... Sans, it's Papyrus. Papyrus? What ha No time. When you wake up, head towards Waterfall. Go now! <sighs> no, it's okay. It didn't hurt this time. I'm fine. I... Frisk. Where are your glitches? You tell Gino, Sans, I'm sorry. I can't go through with it. There has to be a better way. For everyone. And a better way for you. <laughs> so kid, what exactly did you tell Sans? You tell Gino Sans, enough. This is what I get for trusting my killer to stick with me on this. <laughs> I am too nice. But I gave you a chance. And you failed. Ah, uh, well, what can you do? Anyway, you've officially lost freedom privileges. You dirty little traitor. <clears throat> huh? <sighs> Let me through! I mean it! That kid tried to stab you! I was trying to protect you! Sans! Go to Waterfall. The kid. He- The kid is alone with Papyrus. What? Wait. Stop. Sans, I won't let you pass me- Huh? Did... He just tell- Wait, no! Don't hurt my child! Papyrus. Papyrus! Where are you? No, 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 no! This wasn't supposed to happen. Please be okay. Please be- Papyrus? Best bro? P perhaps Stop. This isn't funny. Cut it out. Stop it. Say something. This isn't funny. This isn't funny. <laughs> oh, I really disagree. Sans, I think this is absolutely hilarious. <sighs> you know, Sans, even with you keeping memories, you're still really bad at this game. I mean, really? You remember I killed everyone you loved before, and then you go off and take a nap and leave me with them? Wow. <laughs> you must really hate your friends. I mean, seriously, all I had to do is pull out a weapon, any weapon, on Toriel without her seeing it, to enrage Undyne. Obviously they'd fight, and obviously Papyrus would try to protect me. You all became so predictable over time. This is all literal child's play. Anyway, you lost this round. Here, if it'll make you feel better, I'll let you kill me to start another reset. How's that? Heh, <laughs> here we... Huh? Kiddo, we've thrown a lot of words at each other in the past couple timelines, but we've never actually talked. So, I want to ask you, why? Why kill him? Papyrus, he's been nothing but good to you. Why hurt him? Don't you care, even just a little? Come on, kid. There's gotta be something in there. A good person. A good friend, maybe? I do like Papyrus. I always liked Papyrus. But that's what you do when you love someone, Sans. When you love someone, you hurt them. And they hurt you. This is how the world works. Loving your brother will cause you more pain than anything else in the world. You'll see. It just always hurts. Child? My child, where are you? Uh, oh. Well, better do it now. I can't imagine the guilt she would feel if she knew that by protecting me she got her new friend Papyrus killed. So, let's go. Don't want to hurt her too, right? Huh? <laughs> Not in his scarf. Guess I'll see you in the next timeline. Kid.